Fisherman in Florida got a flesh-eating bacteria and is, was rushed to the ER. He says he contracted it from the Indian River Lagoon. Knew within hours something was not right. Fox's Ether Bauer spoke with the doctor about just how serious the bacteria can be. It can kill you rather quickly within a few days. Daniel Richards is realizing he could have died after boating with friends. But I just tipped my hand in the water one time. It's just in an unfortunate location, and um, and I guess my immune system wasn't quite wasn't quite healthy at the time uh, due to a previous accident, and and it got me. The flesh-eating bacteria got into a small cut on his hand and quickly spread. Uh, once I started not being able to close my hand and uh, the swelling uh, started becoming pretty intense, uh, I realized I could not handle it myself and uh, went straight to the ER. He's been on strong antibiotics for over a week and doctors say he's lucky he didn't lose limbs. Invasive necrotizing infections spread very quickly and spread widely. So uh, it's not uncommon for these to result in very large tissue destruction uh, leading to potential amputation and even death. The CDC says one in five people with necrotizing fasciitis die from the infection. If you see swelling, a fever and redness near an open sore, go to the ER immediately. I definitely don't like to lose limbs. Nobody, everybody likes their limbs for sure. It's been over a week and his skin is starting to grow back. Daniel still loves the lagoon, but says he'll be more cautious with even the tiniest of cuts near water. It's, it's a very scary uh, infection.